Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. Well, there are some interesting vocabulary words that come up when you study something like this, and those are some of them. Let's take a look. We're going to go back a, a bit when we were, uh, did our show uh, in episode 33 about some of the gates of horses. Uh, first, I just want to let you know this is segment two of episode 34. Now, let's head to the chalkboard and look at some of those words that have to do with the gates of a horse. Now, you'll see that the first one uh, marked here is the walk, and that's kind of self-explanatory, but then again, if you're just learning English, you may not be familiar with that word. Uh, trot is a little bit more technical, as is canter. Now we're getting into just kind of horse language there. Another word for canter is lope, and then we have gallop, which is to run very fast. Now, staying with our chalkboard here, in the um, interview that we just had, we talked about colors of horses. Now, this gets really technical. This is just right in the, the horse world. I don't know that these really apply to other things. A bay is a horse with a medium brown body with a black mane and black tail. So when someone says that my horse is a bay, they're talking about the color of the horse, not the kind of horse it is. Now, you got to see Doxy there, the horse Doxy. She had a medium brown coat and her mane and tail were also pretty much the same medium brown. That's called a surl. And I understand in the uh, world of England, back in more European language, they call that a chestnut horse. Again, it's referring to the color. Now, buckskin, which I think was the favorite there, is a light brown with a black mane and black tail. Then we have the paint, which has three colors on it, and the Appaloosa, which I guess if I had to pick a favorite kind of horse, it would be Appaloosa. They have the big spots, and especially on their rump, they have a big spot. Now, speaking of rump, there's several parts of a horse, and one of them is the mane, and you saw them combing the mane in an earlier episode. The forelock, or furlock, is the part of the mane, I, I would consider it part of the mane, but it hangs down on their forehead. And of course, the tail and the hooves, which is the, the feet of a horse. So those are some of the vocabulary things that we're starting to learn sp specifically about horses. But the unit is not just about horses. We're also studying animals in general. And when we come back, we'll feature a video clip a uh, kind of an introduction to the whole theme of horses. But first, we're going to break for this. Is it true that ramping up your English is going to the dogs? Randy. Yes, it is. And cats, horses, rabbits, geese, jaguars, and more. Join us in our new unit on animals. Ramping Up Your English is for intermediate English learners from all language backgrounds and all ages. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our new thematic unit is Animals. This science unit helps viewers advance in language functions that will stretch their English skills and learn a few things from dogs as well. Openness, trust, faithfulness, loyalty, playfulness, and more. The, the, the qualities that we as humans really do need to learn and to have in our lives on a daily basis because they deliver such beautiful rewards. Ramping up your English can be seen on the Ashland Home Network on channels 15 and 115. It's on channel 182 on Charter Cable in the rest of Southern Oregon. Join us for better English and a grand time with animals.